They're not just annoying, they can cause serious illness, even be deadly. Tonight, experts say the tick population in our area is multiplying and doing so fast. News Force Kim St. Ange is watching out for you tonight live from Forest Park. And Kim, it's not common to find ticks there, but you certainly can. That's fair, Sam. So obviously you're more likely to find these ticks, say, if you're in a wooded area that has that tall grass, a lot of trees. But it is not out of the question that you'd be maybe walking on one of these paved trails in Forest Park and you'd get a tick. So you have to be extra careful. A WashU doctor was saying that tick season used to be closer to, say, May to September, and now it's expanded from about March through November. Aiden Jurgensen is on his weekly walk with his dogs at Forest Park. They got really good trails around here. One of his goals is always avoiding ticks. They suck to get in. You don't always know you have them. And now the tiny blood sucking insects may be harder to dodge. I went hiking a few weeks ago and um, everyone who I was with had ticks on them after and that made me more conscientious. The Centers for Disease Control reports tick populations across the United States have more than doubled from 2004 to 2019. Dr. Erica Hayes, associate professor of pediatric infectious diseases for Washington University, points to global warming as one of the reasons for the increase. That's why she says more ticks are moving north. When areas get warmer and get more humid, the areas become more conducive to ticks. Hayes says the lone star tick and dog tick are the most common in the St. Louis area. Neither can cause Lyme disease, but can lead to other illnesses. One of the most common being Rocky Mountain spotted fever, which can cause fever, headaches, or a rash, and in some cases, be deadly. Most ticks actually have to be attached to you for at least 12 to 24 hours if they're going to make you sick. In 2017, 58-year-old Tammy Wilson from the St. Louis area died just days after getting diagnosed with a tick-borne illness called bourbon virus. Virus. She worked at Merrimack State Park near Sullivan and found the tick bites after Memorial Day weekend. She's one of only a small number of confirmed cases since the virus was discovered in 2014. Hayes says, don't be afraid to go outside, just be aware. It worries me a little bit, but I feel like as long as I try to stay on my normal rules, stay in the normal areas, I'll be okay. Do avoid ticks, especially when you're out in a wooded area. You want to wear long sleeves. And then look, this is not cute, okay? You're not going to be winning any fashion awards. I promise you that. But if you want to tuck your pants into your socks like that, there's actually a great way that you can try to prevent ticks. DEET is also another great repellent that you can use. And then, Sam, the most important thing is when you get home, you want to check yourself from head to toe. They really can hide, unfortunately, in your scalp a lot. Hey, I got the creepy crawlies. Definitely good advice for us tonight. Kim, thank you.